All right, so the assets I'm using are Microverse Core Collection, Microverse Roads, and if you want to be able to drive really quickly, you could use NWH Vehicle Physics 2, uh, but that one's not necessary if you have your own uh, vehicle driving script. Uh, so first what you're going to want to do is go to Game Object, Microverse, Create Microverse with Terrain, and then you can name it whatever. I'll just keep it like that. And then you got a nice little terrain here. Uh, then you want to go to Window, Microverse, and the Content Browser. And I'm just going to drag it down to my console because it's easier to look at down here. And I'm going to drag this um, Meadows stamp up here. I'm going to position it at 500-500 and scale it to 1000 so it takes up the entire terrain. Just like so. I'm going to hit a texture. I'll do grassy rocks. And I'm going to make it global so it takes up the entire terrain. And we're already halfway there. Um, Next, I'm going to go to Roads, which is part of the Microverse Roads asset. Um, all this stuff is included with it, even the roads, uh, road textures. Um, drag this out, zoom in a little bit. I'm going to double click on the node, and then I'm going to use the Draw Splines tool. Click right here and just create a little road real quick. I'll make it go around the mountain, maybe a little bit up it. Let's see how that looks. And if you could see, like it's going through the ground over here, you can easily fix that with uh, going to the road system and changing the trench number to something like 0.3. I found that that works for me pretty well. Um, and then you can do vegetation. We can do a pine forest. And we could use like the spline area tool and just like do something a little bit like this. Might look nice. And then we'll do something similar on the other side. Like that. Uh, we can add a little bit more right here. We could even add uh, biomes. We could do like a little forest over here. Another forest on this mountain. One right there different type of forest over here and like maybe down there and right there and if you want we can add some other vegetation like grass we could do that right here alongside the road we could do rocks right here um, we could do a clutter forest we'll do that in like the background over here um, and that's about it for this. You just keep doing stuff like that. You can use your own um, uh, assets. You can create a new collection and then be able to do the same type of thing here. Um, uh, if you want to drive on this road here really quickly though with the uh, NWH vehicle physics, you can just drag your uh, vehicle model out onto the scene real quick like right there. Um, and then you're gonna add the, the wizard to it. Setup wizard. And then for a preset, for this one specifically, I'm going to do a semi-truck, because that's more like what this is. But they also have one for, like, monster truck or motorcycle, compact car. It really just affects, like, the sounds and the way it drives. Um, and then right here, you're going to add all four of the wheels. So starting with front left, then you do front right, and then rear left and rear right. And you have to do it in that specific order, or it's not going to drive right. Um, you're going to need to attach a box collider to your vehicle. Uh, you just got to make sure that it does not go underneath the car or vehicle like that does. It's not going to move anywhere if you keep it like that. So I'm just going to raise it up by two. That'll work. Um, and then I'm going to run this setup on there. Close that. And then I'm going to create a empty game object and call it input handler and then add the two scripts <clears throat> that you need. They're called input system scene and input system vehicle. And then as long as the truck isn't in the ground, I'll lift that up real quick. And I'm just gonna hit play. And then you can move the camera around. That's part of the script. And you can already see how like nice the the world is. I, you can hit E to start the vehicle. Just drive like that. Will actually.
actually turn down the volume real quick. Turn that down to like 0.25. There we go. Then we'll just go for a quick little drive. See like the microverse spline tool, it makes it, it like carves into the terrain and makes it look a lot more natural than if it were to do it in a different way. But I, I think this is a really nice tool and it can save you a lot of time so you can spend time spend your time doing more important stuff in your game, like the actual story behind it and unique features. So yeah, that's about it. I just wanted to share these couple of assets with you guys because I stumbled across them and they've already saved me a bunch of time. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave some down in the comments below and thanks for watching.